Um, in the in the previous years, I've had um, you know some work in the preseason, but you know I guess I am getting a little older now. You know, giving taking care of his vets and his running backs because I know the type of season we're going to we're going to have and the type of work that we're going to uh, produce. Um, it's actually probably a good idea that um, you know we get less in the preseason. Um, so we just got to take you know take care of our bodies during practice and after practice and make sure we get our conditioning in after practice and and that uh, yeah. Man who leads the NFL in rushing this preseason, Chris Warren. Yeah. What have your what have your, your takeaways, I suppose, from just seeing him in the course of this offseason and in particular the preseason? Uh, I've seen a lot of progress from Chris. Um, he's done a good job, and um, he still he knows how has some rookie mistakes, and he's still learning the playbook and staying con being consistent. But um, he's a hard worker. He's a, he's def he's a he's a big back, uh, definitely a bruiser, and um, I can't wait to see what he's um, what he's gonna do for us. Do you feel like you can get ready enough for a season without having a lot of rest in preseason games? Um, yeah, definitely, definitely can. But so that's nothing like you know that live contact though. So um, you know this upcoming preseason game, um, you know we're gonna have that. I'm not sure how long I will play or any other rip up, any other any other uh, other backs will play. But uh, you know I can't wait to get the, that live contact. Your height wise, are you like five five nine? I'm five eleven in the morning, you know. <laughs> uh, by the end of the day, I'm probably around like you know five ten, maybe you know gravity. So you know. Well, uh, Chris Warren, he's a bigger back. That Definitely. height, yeah. Like, you know, Pack level is so important. Mm -hmm. What effect do you think height has, and is that something that plays to his detriment, just being that tall? As a um, back? Definitely, he's not. He's just he's not tall, but he's heavy. I think he's about two fifty five. So that's a lot of, once you get running, that's a lot of force. That's a lot of, that's a lot of weight, you know, um, you know, but, you know, I think, you know, I'm about 5'10", whatever. So, you know, my advantage is I got leverage. So, yeah, so that's, that's, that's the advantage I have. You still, have, you still have a couple weeks left in the preseason, but kind of, are you making the type of progress in terms of timing and working with the offensive linemen and things like that that you would expect to be at at this point? Do you feel like really comfortable with all the work that you've done so far? Yeah, I do. I do. Um, you know, I came into the new system this year, so it's been you know, OTAs, the beginning of camp, and until now, um, have I've gotten accustomed to the offense and the line and and through camp with you know with pads and uh, through practice. So I'm definitely you know feel like I am I, I am where I need to be. Your impression has been of the Chiefs man, the fullback, a guy that's still, I mean, really relatively new to this position. Mm -hmm. um, what have your been impressions of him? Um, good impressions. Um, he's our fullback. You know, we want, you know, he's, he, we want a nice, hard nose, um, tough, mentally tough fullback who's going to stick his nose in there, go into the trenches, and move guys out the way for us. Um, you know, he's a great catcher. Um, he's physical and he's he's smart. So we was definitely uh, happy to have him with us. How much 21 personnel did you guys run in Tampa? Um, quite a bit, quite a bit. You know, I'm just, you know, I'm, an, I'm a Raider now, so it's something that I really don't think about, so yeah. As a, as a player, you just run with leverage and wants to create that leverage. Have you given any thought or um, is it, um, is there anything that you have to adjust with the new helmet rule? The fact that they're calling it both on offensive and defensive players or supposedly, I mean, do you have to keep that in mind when you're running? Yeah, it's tough. It's a tough question. Um, with these new rules, I'm not sure. Um, you know, it's, you know it's, I haven't got a lot of live reps, so you know we'll see. Um, my, me and myself as a hard, hard nosed, tough runner, so uh, something that you don't really think about while you're playing. You're just playing, and you know if they call it, then you just gotta be mindful of it. But um, you know, we'll see what happens because there's not a lot of new rules, and we'll see how it goes. So we'll see. Really, since you've gotten here, you've seemed very comfortable, very relaxed with just this new environment. How has this been for you? Well. Yeah, like when you go home to your house, do you feel relaxed? So, you know, it's, this is my home. I was born in Oakland, so you know, I got a lot of family around here, a lot of guys who live around here, friends, cousins. Um, so I'm just comfortable. And they make it, they make do a good job of having that, that vibe around the organization that, you know, it's a family vibe. So, so yeah. In terms of how you'd spend your free time in Tampa, as opposed to here when you have so many people that you know around you, mm -hmm. I guess what does that look like now when you have an off day or just some time mm -hmm. to, Kind of to yourself. How do you? How are you able to spend that with people nearby? Um, you know, it's just it's, it's it's cool to call. You know, my mom. She's about an hour away. My friends are about 30, 40 minutes away that I grew up with in high school and college. Um, cousins who live in Sacramento. So it's nice to have 
the people. My grandpa lives right up the hill. Um, so it's about like 14 minutes away. So it's just nice to have those type of people around me, um, you know? So when I get bored, I can just go over to their house and call them. Grandpa in Oakland? Yes, yes. A couple more guys? Uh, John Green said a couple of days ago that they would be okay with not seeing too much of you and Marshawn, especially in, in the preseason games. Do you feel like there's an element of just not wanting to reveal too much about what you guys are going to be doing in the running game? And are you okay with that? Yeah, I'm okay with that. You know, Green's a smart guy. You know, he's a real smart guy. So, you know, he knows what he's doing.